Fatty, you're eating our world. Hey, you like that rabbit thing from that book about a girl named Alice who goes to Wonderland. What was it called? Oh, yeah, Snow White and Stupid Town. For your information, I am the white chocolate rabbit. Hey, white chocolate's not even chocolate. It doesn't even contain cocoa salads. Well, if I'm not real chocolate, then you probably wouldn't be interested in eating me. Mmm, <laughs> white chocolate. Not dreaming, not dreaming, not dreaming, not... What? Damn it, I was dreaming! Why is life so unfair? All I want is the ability to eat everything in sight and turn into a giant ball! Is that too much to ask? Damn you, reality! Hello, pathetic store nerd. One copy of Grand Theft Scratchy, please. I'm um, sorry, sir. That game is rated M. No problem. I have ID. This is a Cal Calzone Zone frequent Calzone Eater's card. There's a free Calzone in it for you. This never happened. <laughs> oh, wow. Teenagers are so dumb. What? What are you doing near a video game store? <gasps> Buying a video game? I've heard about this. It's the game where you play a meanie bobini that murders other meanie bobinis. I'm putting this game in the same place I put your swimsuit magazines and your BB gun, Homer's underwear drawer. Ugh, great. Now I have nothing to play except the games I bought yesterday. And I'm totally sick of them. The Simpsons game. Hmm. This is so weird. The only Simpsons game I can think of is the one where we all pretend Dad isn't an alcoholic. What could it be? Wait a sec. This is a manual for a video game set in Springfield. <gasps> and Dad is a character. And so is Mom. And Lisa. Who'd want to play her? Whoa. I'm in this game. I wonder what my moves are. Jumping, floating. Oh, man, I gotta try this. This is the only good book ever written! Hey, boy, look what appeared in my magic drawer. Hey, what's with the fruity get-up? If you're planning on coming home like that, don't bother. Dad, I'm a superhero now, and I have all these awesome powers! Superpowers, huh? Well, that's cool, I guess. I was gonna go shoot bats while reading swimsuit magazines in this cave. Wanna come with? Remember, people, we came to this museum to steal, not learn. Don't look at any of the displays. Stay focused. Come on, let's get out of here and find a situation where my new superpowers could be useful. I think Lenny needs help moving. Dude's got a huge futon. Wait, maybe I should stop the bullies from robbing the museum. Well, you're the Dark Avenger of the night. Hey, Bartman, you ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? I bet not. Yeah, stop freaking me out with your unusual gliding and slingshot abilities. We're just henchmen, man. Skinner hired us. Principal Skinner? Yes, it is I. I mean, me. No, it's, it is I. Yeah. <clears throat> the city cut our science budget so much I needed to steal from the museum just to have visual aids. I've never heard of such an evil plan. You're like if the Iron Sheik had a baby with Rowdy Rowdy Piper, times a billion. This Azaraptor's coccyx would have inspired a generation of students to fall in love with science. Oh well, looks like it's jail for me. Sorry, sorry. Would have been here sooner, but I can't get the hang of this dang map quest. Turns out there's a North and a South Elton Avenue. <laughs> really messed me up. You've learned a valuable lesson, Skinner. Confessing to crime doesn't pay. Book em, Wiggum. I know I'm supposed to book em. Gosh, you don't have to be such a jerk about it. 
<laughs> I think I'm gonna like having unbelievable superpowers. When you get out there, remember, no chewing. Chewing's for chumps. Nothing but swallow. Nothing but swallow. I hope I win. Last year, I was the first guy to barf. Barf? Please, in this business, we refer to that as a Roman incident. It does sound a lot classier. What are you worried about? You have video game powers on your side. It's like cheating, but cheating. Woohoo! Cheating! Duffman welcomes you to the Dove Ultimate Eating Challenge! I'll dedicate this gorgeon to my dearly departed mother. She choked here in a haggis eating contest. Hoy recuperare mi dignidad! With great hunger comes great responsibility. Gentlemen, start your digestive tracks! On your mark, get set! Thing I've ever seen such a beautiful sight. Oh, oh, you did it! Oh, oh. Oops. Ah! Ah, jeez, that was my choking hand. Still, you did great. Homer, Duffman is proud to declare you our ultimate eating champion! Oh, yeah! Here to present you with the Red Barkley Championship belt is last year's champion! Who will need to get that adjusted? Akira, how did you win? You're so tiny. Technique. <laughs> and now, the losers have to clean up. Oh, yeah. You maniacs! You blew it up! Ah, damn you! God damn you all to hell! Hey, less references, more mopping. Bart, Dad said you have superpowers. That's amazing! How'd you get them? Manual. That manual has staggering metaphysical implications. We have to take it to the proper authorities. We could do that, but wouldn't you like to know what your powers are first? I have powers? Wow! With these abilities, I can be a force for social justice! Oh, God. Can we skip this level? Come on! It'll be fun! You can hurt a lot of bad guys! Well, if there's gonna be hurting... So, we'll cut down all the forests in Springfield and turn each tree into a single luxury toothpick. Great idea, Mr. Burns. But one tiny question, won't that lead to, uh, environmental disaster? If you want to make an omelet, you have to wreck a few planets. Well said, sir. Well said. Hey, that sounds like a tree swallow! No, it sounds like a yellow crowned heron. Oh my god, that sounds like a chainsaw! No, it sounds like a buzzsaw. Ah! Ah! Hey, Carl, why do we fight so much? Sometimes, I think it's because it's all we have left. You saved our lives! You kids are heroes! Yeah, we're gonna tell everyone we were rescued by, uh, 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 uh Homer's kids, whose names are... Bart and Lisa! Oh, I can't believe you forgot our names. You've known us our whole lives. So? We're not thinking about you all the time, you know? Lisa, we did it! We destroyed the factory! We put 200 hard-working Americans out of a job. How are we supposed to feed our families now? Uh, you could retrain in a field with a brighter future, like daycare management or sports massage. But I've been a logger all my life. My daddy was a logger, and his daddy before that, and his daddy before that. Hey, great story. All I wanted was to destroy our delicate ecosystem. And this is the thanks I get. <sighs> I'm sorry, sir. You want me to have some goons rough up Al Gore? I'd like that. Yes! The legislative branch comes through again! Uh, Mom, keep reading. Hmm. Quimby's cozying up to that sleazy video game producer. That really burns my beehive. I 
must hasten home to play my new carjacking game. <laughs> Give me your ride, jerk. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Are you hurt? <laughs> Nothing a smile and some medical attention can't fix. Hmm, that video game's gonna turn every kid in town into stabby Sams and drive-by Bettys. Mom, I know how you could get that game banned. How? This manual tells us how to use superpowers. You mean I can talk to whales like Aquaman? Or do whatever Hawkman does? No, Mom. You have the power to convince crowds to do whatever you want. Just like Oprah. Okay, let's stop that video game. to senseless violence. Lisa, burn that statue! Whoa, 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 Congratulations, Quimby. You made Grand Theft Scratchy Day a tremendous success. Thank you, Why don't we celebrate with some interns? Sexy interns? Well, Springfield sexy. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> I don't think he's coming out. We're going to have to use our secret weapon. No, Ned, not yet. I'm talking about Maggie. So, I'm ready to receive my bride now. Oh, baby, the dollar sign doesn't lie. Dear God, we're not soaking, we're cooking. A mob of parents? A s s s s senator Quimby, you specifically promised me no mobs. You said this town was full of slugs who would suck up our sexy sleeves with a smile. Consider yourself unbribed. Unable to secure a decent bribe, I have decided to flip-flop and ban sales of Grand Theft Scratchy for minors, the only people who want to play it. Isn't it a little bit hypocritical that you're opposed to the violence in the itchy and scratchy game, but then you use violence to get your way? I'm sorry, Lisa, what? I, I just can't hear you over the roar of this appreciative crowd. Sure. That was so, so awesome. fun! I did. Wow, was that was the greatest incredible. day of my life! Oh man, all my life I wanted to be a human garbage disposal, and now I was! Homie, don't you think you could put your new powers to better use? Oh, like what? Eat terrorists and bar flowers? What did you do that was so great? For your information, I rallied the town to ban a very violent video game! Mom, if kids don't play Grand Theft Scratchy, they'll never learn real-world skills! Like how to sell guns or hunt for hidden packages! You should talk, Bart. I heard that you destroyed half the Natural History Museum! And that's my favorite place to find solace. And while we're on the subject of yelling at each other, your little stud with the loggers has put an army of regular Joes out of work. Way to go! Way to ruin lives! Of all the stupid fat idiots, you wouldn't know what to do with the superpower of your name is Charles Well, your name, yeah, that's right, lame. Well, we're here, and it only took 300 decasols. You're the one who made us stop to visit your mother in space. Why do we always argue on spacecations? You're right, let's kill and space up.
they're here to take our jobs. Guys, listen, we've been given special powers. And if lazily written movies have taught me anything, it's that with superpowers come super responsibilities. So, on behalf of the town, let's go kick some alien butts. If they have butts to kick. Ow! Our powers aren't strong enough. We need to stop these spaceships. And there's only one person in Springfield who's smart enough to figure out how. I drank blue juice from under the sink. Oh, let's just find Professor Frank. Professor Frank, are you home? We need to talk to you. Yeah, we're selling band candy. No, we need to tell him the truth. I am. I gotta move this candy, alien invasion or not. Whatever. It looks like he's not home. Fine. I'll break. You enter. Yeah! This place is sadder than Moe's house, and that dude is sad. Bart, check it out. I think I know where Frank has disappeared to. No, stupid, the sign! Readings for nerds. Hop in. Coins? Hearts? Old video game characters? What is this place? It looks like some kind of factory. But what are they making? Why, they're making video games, my dear child. You see, when I traveled through my rift portal, I discovered a world beyond ours. Welcome to the Game Engine! Yeah, yeah, great. Here's the thing. Our town's being attacked by aliens and... Don't you understand, son? Your whole life up until this moment has been a mere video game. Yeah, yeah, what are you gonna do? The thing is, our video game powers aren't strong enough. We need upgrades, and fast! Well, I've anticipated this problem, and I've done what every video game player who doesn't have time to figure out things for himself does. You cheated! Exactly. <laughs> Behold, the strategy guide! A cheat guide? I don't know, Bart. I do want to save the lives of everyone we love, but if that means I have to be dishonest... Oh, for crying out loud. All right, Frank, let me see that book. What? Help! An oversized monkey and his touches are unwelcome! Coming, Professor? No, no, no. My place is here. I've, uh, I've made a life for myself in this world with my lovely new bride. Finally, a woman who understands me. She is my everything. Why, <laughs> why? Oh, and she's funny, too. <laughs> oh, I'm very happy. <laughs> Dar, when that mysterious beam hit the dolphins, they became enraged and started attacking humans. I tried to fight back, but all I could see were snouts and blowholes. <laughs> oh, Sea Captain, I'm so sorry. Don't you dare pity me! Oh, I yelled at a little girl. I'm, uh, I'm just gonna go sit in my car. Wait a second. You need to help us defeat the army of lovable fish-eating crowd-pleasers. Agreed. There'll be a hatch out in the water behind the marine park. Meet me there, and we'll beat back the scurvy dolphin invasion. Yeah. An aquarium? Oh no, this level is educational! So here's King Snorky. Huh. Yeah, I've had a great time today, kids. I almost never appear this much in the series. Huh? Of events that constitute your lives. <laughs> <laughs> they foiled our plot. We must have revenge. Revenge. Vengeance. Revenge. Payback is ours. The mini egg rolls are done.
Um, um, um. Egg rolls. Delicious. Hot. Revenge. Revenge. Egg rolls. Dipping sauce. Egg rolls. Mm. Revenge. Mm. Good evening, Springfield. Kent Brockman chasing local imbecile Homer Simpson and his delinquent son, Bart, who have picked a fight with an out-of-control donut mascot statue. Bart Simpson, are you and your father insane? Hey, lady, I'm on TV. I just said your name on TV. Don't tell Carl unless he sees this, in which case... Hi, Carl, don't tell any I said your name. Anyways, gotta go. Try to show a little dignity in victory. Eat this, Lord Crutch! Shad Spot! How could Lord Lad lose to that guy? Don't yell at Lord Lad when you really want to yell at me. I screwed this whole thing up. You're right. I do blame you. <laughs> Look, they're raiding the mall and sucking up innocent citizens. Where is mall security? You always seem to be around when you take a whiz in the fountain. Stop! Stop! See? Whoa. Hey, stop your thieving. I spent all day clipping these coupons for flat screen magic picture machines. Brandine has to watch her stories in 1080 iPixels. This human has tiny pieces of paper that give him big, big savings. We must study him. Study him with anal probing? Of course with anal probing. What else would we do? Talk to him? Thank God they're torturing that yokel. It's the perfect time to attack. Uh -huh. Cletus, are you okay? I think the done busted my stank ball. Damn those rectally obsessed savages! Damn them! Well, now you're free. You can go back to your trailer, shack, lean-to, or whatever. Uh, technically it's a hovel. But I ain't going no wires. Those green fellers started a feud that won't be over till I poke something in their void holes. It's gross, but fair. Bob. Don't bother crying out in terror. In space, no one can hear you scream. We're not in space. Well, we're in a spaceship. Not the same thing. It's pretty weird that you'd be working with the aliens. Try not to think about it too much. Just focus on what an unexpected treat it is to see me here. Besides, you won't live long enough to hear the convoluted explanation. Now, cracks a noble heart. Good night. Sweet Simpsons, and flights of aliens, sing thee to thy rest. <laughs> I told you to pick up your space rake. No matter, it was foolish to send a former TV clown to do an alien's work. We will have our revenge. <laughs> 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 Sorry, my bad. Oh my god, it's the mothership! This must be the level boss for this part of the game! The boss! Quick, everyone look busy! Guys, look, the hatch opens after every four laser bursts. That's the weak spot when we need to fire! 
Hey, Kodos, that ugly kid's right. Why are we exposing our weak spot after every four laser bursts? You're right. Why do we even need to expose our weak spot at all? Thanks for the heads up, Earth dumbass. Screw fighting one family. Why don't we just blow up the whole town? They can't stop us from doing that. Sounds good to space me. Something. These space octopuses are gonna get jiggy all over Springfield. Did I use jiggy right? Sorry, the cheat guy doesn't have any more upgrades. Wait, I know another way we can cheat. The internet. Of course, the internet. That's where I cheat for school. Cheating. Is there anything it can't do? Check it out. They have a walkthrough for a game called The Simpsons Game. Bartman, eating contest, alien invasion, slaughtering dolphins. It's describing everything we've done all day. But what does it say we have to do next? Nothing, I hope. Well, it says that we need to find... Move it! I want to play solitaire. We're in the game engine. If our life is a video game, this is the factory where it was made. That's ridiculous. I'm not a video game character. I'm a real life person with dreams and feelings. Ah! Yeah, all right, fine. I'm a video game guy. Now, can I ask a question? If this is a video game, where do we put the quarters? <gasps> oh my god, it's a nerd! That's right, the nerdiest nerd in the computer verse. <laughs> Will Wright, designer of Sim City and The Sims. Don't forget my biggest flop, Sim Sandwich. Its failure drove me mad. Mad! That's why I live here now, finding a home for old games nobody plays anymore. Video games are about what's new, and the old is better off forgotten. Any of these fellows look familiar? We look so pixely! And poorly rendered. Which one is supposed to be me? Don't destroy them! They may be obsolete, but they're still alive. Help! It's crazy! If he destroys us, we'll never escape from Krusty Island! I'm March! You can't do this! Of course I can! I'm Will Wright, bitch! And pretty soon, when there's a new, better Simpsons video game than the one you're from, I'll destroy you too! <laughs> Stop him, Homer! Nerd! Wow, this is like those places where people used to see movies before video piracy was invented. Oh. oh. Hey, thanks for helping us save our 8-bit selves. I had to do so many double jumps, I'm really tired. Do you like donuts, too? Sure do. Do you want one? Um. Pixely. You're all right, old weird version of me. Attention, Smooth Simpsons. We've been around this complex for a long time and bring a warning. Cowabunga. One day, your video game, too, will be obsolete. No way. The Simpsons game is awesome. Just because every video game up until now has been destroyed and forgotten doesn't mean ours will be. Bart, she's right. I mean, I'm right. We're both right. No video game is safe from an industry that's always chasing the hot new thing. Sure, The Simpsons game is great with its unique, upgradable character abilities and its hilarious self-referential cutscenes. But what about when the Xbox 720 comes out or the PlayStation 4? No one will want to play us then! Damn this godforsaken place! Video game-making nerds are getting rich and all I can do is die and die and die and die! Each death more painful than the last! <laughs> but what can we do? We're just highly rendered pixels in a universe we can't control. Even as we speak, Springfield is being destroyed by a hackneyed alien invasion premise. Oh, somehow it's not a cliché when it's happening to you. Yeah, we don't even know who's but to kick. There is one place you can go. The mansion of the Creator. He created all of these worlds. Maybe he can end this pointless cycle of destruction. The creator, eh? I'm gonna triple combo punch his fat, nerdy face. Karate! Don't have a cow, man. You still say that, right? I hope so. The only way to get through the gate is to go into each of the new Simpsons games being developed by the creator. Once you're inside each game, you need to find a key card. 
Only the four key cards will combine to open the gate. Key cards? That is the lamest video game BS I've ever heard. Why aren't we doing something cool, like collecting multicolored shard keys? That would be totally different and awesome! Cowabunga! Well, let's get to it, video gang. Let's go give this creator a piece of our minds. And save Springfield! What a pretty level. I like the theme of fantasy. Oh, I've got a fantasy. Now that we're finally away from those kids, we can, you know, be like, together all afternoon. You're so bad. You're going to ruin this game's key for teen rating. Um... Help! Help! Someone save us! My ears are pointy. <laughs> Come on, Homer. We've got to save those midgets. But Marge, I can't control myself. You're one sexy milf. The word is elf, and no snuggling till we do the right thing. Oh, lousy sexy Marge. Nah! Thanks for saving us, ugly grown-ups. Is there anything we can do to repay you? You could tell us where to find the key card. Or you could give us five minutes of privacy. Two would be enough. The object you seek is through this door, but it is sealed by magic. Ah! No, it wasn't. Actually, we never tried it. I finally killed your sister. I'm the happiest magic guy in Pretendland. Well, at least we quit smoking. As much as I'm against murdering family members, it was nice to have a level away from the kids. My precious! Listen up, youngsters. We have received intelligence that the Krauts are due to invade the beloved French township of Ville de saint Capitolons. I don't need to tell you that this town provides the snails that feed the entire French resistance. If St. Capitulans falls, the resistance will be so hungry for snails, they'll turn around and fight for the bad guys. Oh, I've seen it happen before. You will parachute out of a UB-40 Red Wine Flying Fortress over St. Capitulans, where you'll have to locate me and Private First Class Burns for further instructions. Now, good luck. You boys are my favorite privates, and you know how much I love my privates. My privates mean everything to me. Please, God, don't let anything happen to my privates! Take that, Frenchies! Sacre bleu! We are, uh, how you say, finished! Oui, monsieur. May I have another? Ah! Oh, look at me! I'm French! I'm a scared girl! I don't like being bombed and attacked! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, knock it off! We're here to protect these cheese-eating surrender monkeys. That means taking down these white flags before they have a chance to kiss German butt. Yes, yes Sarge Simpson. Simpson. You know, Sarge, while your time-traveling son and grandson take down the flags, we could remove the priceless paintings from the village before the Germans get here. You know, for safekeeping. You look and sound so evil. But since you're American, I know that's not possible. We'll get the paintings. You two take care of the flags. What war is this? Don't they teach you anything in school? It's the Civil War, duh. Hot damn if you didn't stop those surrender monkeys from surrendering. I was sure you were both going to be shipped home in pine boxes. I was already making up nice things to say about you. But now you're off to Africa. Private Burns has secured some priceless French paintings of high-class naked bazooms. We're taking the paintings to a secure storage depot outside Jabba El Hut, Algeria. I'll be riding shotgun with Burns personally on this one. I suspect we'll need the help as the canyons near Jabba are heavily fortified by the enemy. I know what you're thinking. This sounds like an escort mission. Well, deal with it! Listen up, my beloved privates. We had a traitor in our midst. Private Burns has nicked all the French paintings with all those luscious naked sweater melons. So listen up. Burns has moved the paintings to his own private aircraft carrier, the USS Real Crazy. He has the damn thing heavily guarded by his own private cadre of muscular sailors. These men fight for neither God nor country. They fight for love. 
I'll be leading a sortie of Hellfish warplanes, and we'll be providing heat from the air. You'll need to stow yourselves aboard the ship at dock. Once out to sea, disable the ship's defenses while we attack from above. Homer, you'll be on demolition duty, and you'll have just enough C4 explosives to complete your objectives. Ah, oh, who am I kidding? You're never gonna run out of explosives. If you ran out, you'd never finish the damn thing. Any more questions? I don't care. Over and out. Missed me, now you have to kiss me. Deck, you treacherous double-crossing Nancy boy! <laughs> your, oh, your mustache tickles. As mayor of this village, I would like to thank you, brave American soldiers. You hid our cowardice and brought back the pride of our village, our paintings. Dad, can I have some wine? The other kids are doing it. Sorry, boy. You're an American kid. You have to get your booze from an older creep hanging around outside the liquor store. God bless America! Okay, I'm in a stupid Japanese game, but I'm not eating sushi. Unless it's covered with chocolate and there's no sushi in it. Greetings, naughty, naughty earth livers. Welcome to the realm of Mr. Dirt. Isn't it splendid? Knock it off, Millhouse. We know it's you. Uh, sorry, but I'm the king around here, guys, and you're gonna have to deal with it. Unless you want to be my queen, Lisa. Uh, thanks, but no thanks, Mr. Dirt. But I'm so huge! And I'm the main bad guy in my own video game! Isn't anything good enough for you? Hey, the girl said she's not interested. Beat it, loser! A thousand thanks, Fat One and Ritter Nerd. Your quest is to defeat the evil Mr. Dirt, Scourge of the Daylands, and CEO of the most evil Ring Shark Corporation. He seeks to rid forest and field of Gaion Energy. Hmm. And how would you describe this evil CEO's attitude toward the old ways and the traditions of your ancestors? Most disrespectful! <laughs> Real original. To defeat Mr. Dirt, you must travel to Colos of our land and win back Sparklemon. Mr. Sparkle will join you with gate opening power and a Sparklemon capturing ball. Wonderful magical animal! Without a body, eat all day! Never up throw! <laughs> no oh, man! You beat the third one too? Fine, whatever. I'm gonna go cry in the Temple of the Two Moons. So don't follow me! I mean it! Quick, Dad! You need to insert the Sparkle Mon into the coin slots! 
Lisa, don't tell me how to use a toilet. Would you tell Chuck Yeager how to fly a jet? <laughs> Mr. Spokuru has risen from his banishment in the underworld. Now I must return to my corporation, where I am mascot for celery-flavored soy chip. Selsoy kills the hunger demon, but graciously adopts his children. Selsoy, Selsoy! But first, I will cleanse the world of Mr. Dirt. I guess I should give you this key card now. Ew, no way. I saw you picking your nose with it. Dad, we need the key to save everyone we know. Just take it. Dad! Hey, come on, guys. Take it easy. My glasses! Look at this place. Graffitos, bottle and bags, and way more pimps than I'm comfortable with. I just don't understand why Bart would want to play this game. with cats and mice. Can't they ever get along? Lisa, you and I are gonna clean up this video game once and for all. Do you think it will still be fun if you can't stomp cat prostitutes and take their money? Of course! What's more fun than playing nice? Sorry, Poochie, but even you aren't extreme enough to resist the power of a stay-at-home mom with too much time on her hands. Yeah! Word to your mother. We did it! We cleaned up the game and therefore made it more fun! This is gonna be the least violent third-person shooter ever! Great work, ladies. We finally made this video game safe for children. I proclaim an end to video game violence. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, boy. And how many points did you get? Video games don't have points anymore. No points? How do you know you're doing good in the game? Well, you make progress through the objectives of the game. Like here, we collected the four key cards. Four points? That's a pretty sucky score. I got eight million on a centipede machine and a Pizza Hut once. But four? Pathetic. Look, how many lives did it take you to get these cards? Lives? What do you mean? I mean, I died a lot. And I mean a lot, but it's not like I have limited number of lives. Infinite lives? Then how is a game even hard? What's the point if you can just play forever? The world I grew up in is gone. Look, Cyber Chums, we need to use the keys to get into that mansion and talk to this creator, Wacko. Our town is being blown up as we speak, so let's do this thing! In these video games, levels get easier as you go along, right? Right? That's right, Dad. They sure do. Let's go. Go get them, guys. Get your initials at the top of that high score screen. Yeah! Bad chance. Four points. Sheesh. This is it. The home of our creator. I say we smash his face, bust his stuff, and take a leak on his lawn. Where are you, boy? <laughs> so they won a war. Well, then it's a war they'll get. Violet, engage the super tuned defense systems. Yes, Mr. Groening. It's graining. Are you sure? No. I bet your creator is like a thousand-foot Godzilla with big boobs and he breathes fire snot. Think again. Your creator is TV's most beloved animation visionary. Seth McFarlane? Ah! Oh, say hello to my little friend. Aw, oh, snap! <laughs> Do that to Mr. Ha ha, Bart, Dad! 
you just vanquished your own creator. The philosophical implications would make Eugene Ionesco's head spin. Hmm, you make a provocative point, Lisa. And furthermore, kick him! Uh, oh! Uh, oh! 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 Stop kicking the man who doodled you! It isn't nice! Yes, yes ma'am. Ma'am. Thank you for saving me, ma'am. I'm enduring grateful. Mr. Groening, how could you have betrayed us, the fruits of your creative loins, and sold us out to all these awful video games where we endlessly die and lose health and jump and jump and jump? I swear I didn't know they'd be awful, Lisa. If I'd known, I only would have slapped your faces on mugs, t-shirts, candy, lunch boxes, board games, gum, novelty flying discs, and fluffy, fluffy beach towels. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me... Video Game Engine Self-Destruct Button! So long, suckers! Prevailed. I have dishonored my ancestors. The Springfield portal is the only one that's holding. Come on, everyone, back to Springfield. Hang on, I'll be right back. Ah, for the love of Sauron, will you? Ah! Crap! Oh, well, I'm glad that's over. What's for dinner, Marge? I hope it's a spaghetti! Here we go! Uh, Homer, we're still under attack. I guess all that's left to do is pray that God saves us. That's it, Mom. We have to talk to God. Lisa, what are you doing? It's not safe out there! I'm gonna use my Buddha hand powers to build a tower to heaven out of Springfield buildings. Then we can get to the only authority who outranks Matt Groening, God. Lisa, everyone knows God only helps the mighty. Awesome. Ooh, I hope the stores aren't all closed. Who's there? Stand and unfold yourself. Hey, what's the big idea? Let us through. Uh, Dad, I think that's Shakespeare. You know, the Bard of Avon. Ooh, I love Avon. I pray thee cease thy counsel, which falls into mine ears as profitless as water in a sieve. Enough of the John Grisham fancy talk, Mustachio. Meet Yorick, a fellow of infinite death! setting a very good example. No wonder you never hear about God having a girlfriend. Is someone there? I don't have any money. God, it's the Simpsons here. You've been playing with our lives and we'd like you to stop. Our town, family and friends are all suffering. Yeah, God, you used to be cool. Just because I'm a gamer doesn't mean I'm not cool. Your uneasy looks have brought my disfavor, you bunch of jerks. Right, loser. You stop the destruction of our town and give us some answers, or these save games go in the drink. No, my save games stop. I'm on the final boss fight in Oblivion. I can't start again from the beginning. Okay, I'll do whatever you want. I thought so. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, uh, God, uh, God, is it? It's time for some answers. Who are we? Here's the bad news. Your video game characters. You were designed by computer geeks in cubicles to run around and be controlled by other computer geeks in their bedrooms. We knew that, Birkenstocks. Yeah, explain to us the meaning of life. Okay, those computer geeks who control you. Thing is, they're part of a video game too. 
You see, the planet Earth is my most immersive, detailed video game yet. And I play it 24 hours a day. It's great. You can get out of your car, have a family. I even put in a complete and wholly consistent fossil record for the nerds. So, the Simpsons game, your game, is really nothing but a mini-game inside my Earth game. If you think about it. So, not only are we not real, we're characters inside a mini-game inside another game. And the people playing us right now are the characters inside the big game that you're playing. Well, you're not inside just any game. The planet Earth got a score of 96 on Meta Metacritic. But why did you let me find the instruction book back in Springfield? Doesn't that mess up your whole system? Oh, totally. That was like a complete accident. Here I am. Rock you like a hurricane. Oh, how do you control that camera in this thing? Is it the L and R button or what? Ah, screw this, I'm getting a beer. Oh, The Simpsons game? So, yeah. You see? Oops. Oops! Ain't gonna cut it, Mr. Glowing Visage, beautiful beyond all description. You gotta make this right. Relax, relax. God, I feel really, really super bad about all of this. And I seriously want to finish Oblivion so I can get started on something else, so... What do you want? Put Springfield back the way it was. And let us keep our awesome powers. Improve the working conditions of all video game characters. Grant me three wishes. Fine, fine, I'll do all that stuff. Even make games less dangerous for the characters. I guess games have been getting too violent. <gasps> God, there is one thing. Do you ever wonder if you're a character in a video game? Well, that's... that's just dumb. I mean, stop being dumb. <laughs> <laughs>